Hi Pete. C3, this is our third year, me covering it, and the third year you guys doing it, but the you know, college combine here at Compound Wrestling. And how many years you've been here so far? Uh, this will be, been here about three years now. So this is like originally one of your brain, the brainchild of Pete Yates, I like to right. say, but you then deflect and say, no, it was me and Cliff, but you know, this is your idea. You're one of the few All-Americans from Georgia. They just had another one this year, Sean Russell. Yep. But um, talk me about to me about the process, you know, from sure. 2015 to 2017 and how you've grown the compound college combine. Yeah, so right after I came on, I think maybe I was only here for maybe a month or two, and I uh, mentioned the idea to Cliff, and, you know, I think there was like maybe three weeks before we did the event, so we just hustled for three weeks, called up a bunch of coaches we knew, and uh, kind of networked and three weeks later we were having a pretty cool event. I think we had like 60 plus kids and I think 20 coaches that first year. So it was pretty awesome to see it come together really quickly like that. Um, and ever since then we've been growing. Uh, we had two last year. We had one in um, Iowa as well as the one here in Georgia. And now this year we're going to do four. We're going out to Cali next weekend and then New Jersey and in Iowa in August and September. And there's going to be actually one, Cliff's talking about one in Florida potentially too. Yep. So it's like, it's all in the works here. And do you feel, well, well, first off, being a Georgia guy, you know, it's hard to get noticed. Do you know that? Right. You guys, your schedule compared to what, well, it's gotten better since you were in high school, but mm -hmm. it's hard to get noticed because you guys aren't at Ironman right. a lot of the time. You're not at the, the Rexville, the Doc sure. B, whatever the tournament may be. But has this helped kids get recruited in the Southeast like you needed to be? Yeah, absolutely. I think so. You know, when I grew up in Georgia, there were no big um, colleges really looking in Georgia at all. So I think the only out-of-state tournament I did with my high school, and it was really only me that went, is I had to actually call up the athletic director of my school and allow me to go to the Beast of the East just so I could be recognized. Um, you know, there were no combines going on like football and other sports have. So um, Georgia's grown a lot since I was in school, but um, I think combines like this give areas um, where kids sometimes get neglected, a great chance to be showcased and give them opportunities to get scholarships. Um, Looking at, um, you know, you went to Virginia Tech yep. multiple times, two-time All-American for Virginia Tech. Um, we just did a great transitive property, by the way. I thought it was pretty good, <laughs> some of your wins. But, um, you know, looking at Virginia Tech, what it's become, you were a part of that foundation. Yep. You know, obviously Kevin Dresser right. being there was a big, huge part of it, Roby. Yetzer, and then you know all the other coaches that they br have brought in you now they're sure. super staff now but looking at going there and kind of a guy who nobody heard of really throughout the country and then being able to be a two-time all-american what do you think it says about the program you went and wrestled for and what's potentially possible for a kid out of georgia yeah um when i first looked at virginia tech they were just you know another d1 program but you know not not even in the top 20. i think they finished like 50th in the country the year i got recruited I remember going to the NCAA tournament as my my senior year and uh, they had one guy in at the tournament I think he went 0-2 and, and I was like ah did I make the right decision but uh, as soon as we got our new recruiting class in and everybody got on the same page we uh, and we put the work in and we, we really became a top 10 program and now a top 5 program and I think you know with Tressor leaving Roby's taken over and, and uh, he's going to continue setting the bar high there. What do you think college coaches, you know, you're going to have 20 plus college coaches in here this weekend. What do you think they're looking for out of kids when they step on the mat here, when they're doing the, the strength and the mile run and they're doing all their stuff? What do you think a college coach is looking for? You're a two time All-American. You know what they're looking for. You could be coaching at a college right now. What are they looking for? Um, you know, you can do your research and Google a kid and find out their accolades and their accomplishments so far. Um, but what you don't really get to see is how hard they train, um, how well they do with adversity. Um, how fast they can run a mile run or, um, you know, when conditions are a little tough, you know, it's 100 plus degrees in here right now. Um, it's it's going to be hot. Um, coaches get to see how kids train and, and kind of they can see how the kid might do in a tough environment because, you know, college is a whole new beast compared to high school wrestling. So it gives coaches a, an idea of how kids may be um, outside of just a regular tournament where they could see them. And, and it's more than just accolades on paper. They get a hands-on approach and get to see how hard the kid's willing to train and if it's a good fit for them. You guys are in a lot of major markets. Obviously, we're here in the, the southeast. We're heading up to the east coast, you know, um, going out to the west coast, and then you're in the cent center of the country. Any other future growth plans right now, or is it just like, hey, we're worrying about what we got on hand? Where do you go from here with C3? 
Um, well, I would hope that we could get to all the regions where there's a need for it. Um, you know, Pennsylvania kids that are in the top top ten, it might not be the best event for them. Although I think it can be a great event for them, but um, kids that are sometimes overlooked, the second and third guy in their weight class, um, it really lets those kids shine. And um, wrestling is rich all over the country, not just those powerhouse programs. But I think a lot of those kids just get overlooked and. And also, they don't understand that they can go D1 or D2 or D3 or NAIA, um, whatever a good fit for them is. A lot of those kids um, kind of become neglected and they just go off to college and, and forget about wrestling. Whereas, hopefully, we can give them you know, an idea, hey, this is what college wrestling is about. Maybe I can go do this uh, later on in my life and in college. Last thing. Is Roby going to take the ball and run? Are the Hokies, Absolutely. are they going to get it done? You know, Frank Molinaro, Jared Frayer. I mean, they have an incredible, the RTC yeah. is being built there as we speak. Um, are the Hokies going to take the ball and run with it? Uh, absolutely, I think so. Um, Roby, he was really my personal coach. I had a great relationship with him. And, uh, you know, I can't say anything but great things about the guy. He's going to do an awesome job. And, I mean, they got two Olympians on staff now. So um, they've got, you know, all the tools and they're going to continue to do what they, you know, what they've been doing. All right. Any expectations? Anything else you got for me before we get rocking and rolling here? Uh, no, I think that's it. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. You stay cool this weekend, all right? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs>